Welcome Alexandra. Do you go by your given name? Or is there another way you would like me to address you? My friends call me Alex. Welcome Alex. I usually start out with new clients by sharing some of my personal and professional values to communicate that this is a safe space for everyone. In particular, I actively affirm basic human rights related to indigeneity, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, age, ability, socioeconomic status, and religion. I know that is a mouthful, but it is important for you to know that all aspects of your identity will be respected and honored through the counseling process. I didn't answer the gender question on the intake form because I get so angry when only two options for gender are provided. Thanks for being honest with me. There is no excuse for that, so I won't try to make one. I can tell you that these agency forms are all currently under review, and I intend to make sure that they are gender inclusive. You should also know that you have a right to not answer any question I ask, although I will do my best not to make this gender or other biased assumptions in our conversations. Okay, thanks. I am wondering if you reacted in this way from a personal place or as an ally for people who express non-dominant gender identities. If you don't want to talk about that, then perhaps you could give me a bit of a sense of what brought you to counseling today. In the group of friends that I am part of, we try not to make gender so central to how we present ourselves and interact with each other. I refer to myself as queer, both in terms of gender identity and sexual orientation, but my girlfriend is definitely female identified. I left the significant other blank too on the intake form, just in case. I'm glad you feel comfortable sharing this with me now, because it helps me get a sense of the context of your life and where your sources of social support might lie. I might ask you more about your community of friends, if it seems important later on. For now, I'm wondering what prompted you to seek out counseling? I'm struggling with some things at work and don't seem to be able to figure out a way to resolve them. Specifically, I feel like I am being passed over for promotion, even though I am more qualified than some of the others. Okay. I often find it helps me to understand the challenge better if we spend some time looking at both specific incidents and also some of the broader organizational culture issues that might come into play in these situations. It is possible that there are organizational norms that are putting you at a disadvantage. How does that approach fit for you? It might help me understand the dynamics a bit better and figure out what this is really about. So, yes, let's give that a try.